Hello everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So this video is about uh, an interesting thing called like why breakfast is called as uh, breakfast. So there is a lot of uh, biochemistry involved in this uh, terminology and uh, let me break it for you. Before I explain you what is why uh, breakfast is called as breakfast, so I need to explain you something. So some of the terminologies that I need to explain you. So the first terminology that you need to note is absorptive state and that absorptive state I am color coding with a blue color deep blue color here. So absorptive state is also called as postprandial state. So f it is first four hours after meals whenever we take meal from that point in time to four hours that particular period is called as absorptive state. Now the green color coded thing is post absorptive state. Post absorptive state starts 4 hours after meals and it will go until 10 hours after meals. So 4 to 10 hours after meals is called as post absorptive state. Now the red colored thing here is I have uh, denoted it for fasting state. Now the fasting state it starts from 10 hours after meals and it goes beyond that point up until 24 hours so absorptive state is first four hours after meals post absorptive state is four hours to 10 hours after meals and fasting state starts 10 hour after meals up until 24 hours so next time when you say i'm fasting be careful about the time it means you should done you should have not taken anything for 10 hours that's when it is truly called as fasting state so now let's see why breakfast is called as breakfast. So let's consider that we are taking breakfast at 8 a.m. in the morning. So I have denoted that 8 a.m. here and I am going on increasing every two hours. So there is these lines indicate two hours from 8 or 8 a.m. in the morning. So from 8 a.m. in the morning when you take breakfast first four hours from that point means up until 12 hours means 12 in the noon you are basically in absorptive state so the green color thing is absorptive state that is from 8 o'clock in the morning to 12 in the afternoon means in the noon you are in absorptive state now as soon as you are getting into post absorptive state so you are taking lunch during that time so you are not really getting into fasting condition at all when you take lunch you are just beginning to get into post absorptive state and you are breaking it by taking lunch and immediately get into absorptive state for next 4 hours here. It means 12 new noon into 2 pm and into 4 pm up to that point you are in absorptive state. Now 4 pm afterwards so for next 6 hours you will be getting into post absorptive state let's see what happens during that time. So probably at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. most of the time we are going to have some snack or something so it will transiently get you, get you into absorptive state even if you are not taking anything. So by 8 p.m. here so we are going to have dinner. So when you have dinner you are basically breaking post absorptive state you have not yet entered into fasting condition when you are taking dinner basically we are take dinner usually at 8 p.m. so that means you are breaking post absorptive state and again you get into absorptive state here so from 8 p.m. up until 12 in the morning so you get into absorptive state so that is 12 a.m. so 4 hours from 12 a.m. for next 6 hours that is 12 a.m. into morning 6 a.m. you are in post absorptive state and that is in green color here that is 6 hours now from 6 a.m. afterwards you are getting into fasting state because first four hours after meals that is in absorptive state then next six hours you are in post absorptive state so it means from 8 p.m. in the night previous day night to 6 a.m. in the morning so you are there in absorptive state and post absorptive state from 6 a.m. onwards you begin to get into fasting condition and that's what is in red color here. So usually your fasting state begins 6 a.m. 6 in the morning. From that point it is fasting state 
and any time you take something there so usually we take breakfast at 8 am 7 am or 9 am something like that because you are already in fasting condition and you are breaking that fast so something that is taken to break that fast it is called as break fast now you know why break fast is called as break fast so it is very simple here you are simply breaking a fast that is called as break fast okay so it is very simple here so break fast is nothing but you are simply breaking the fast because during that time by that time it is already 10 hours after last meal and you get into fasting state so that's about why breakfast is called as breakfast it's very interesting but by now you know it is very simple so that's about it thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video take care